<laughs> causing you to laugh. They used to cause me to laugh. I used to laugh at them, and now it's like, no. Now they cause me to cringe. <laughs> oh, cry. <laughs> yeah. No, I appreciate that. So at this point of the uh, interview, Chris, we're going to go into what's called the lightning rounds. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and uh, just go ahead and tell me your uh, reaction to them. Great. Okay, the first one. Chris, reflect on something that brought you joy in the last week. Playing golf at my country club last week, which is January, and I was wearing short sleeves. Oh, <laughs> well, there you see, you've injected humor here. It's great. And what was the temperature? I think it was like 65 degrees. 65 I mean, it's perfect degrees. out. I mean, perfect. you're walking around, getting some exercise, getting outdoors. The last week was beautiful here, as you know. Very nice. Just gorgeous. It was just so good. So, so great to be in California. Chris, what is the best advice you have ever received? Uh, it's something that my dad told me. He said, he said, your ego is not your amigo. <laughs> I like that. Your ego is not your amigo. That's so good. Chris, what is a book you can recommend that helped you find joy? Uh, I read a good book called The Physician by Noah Gordon some years ago. It's an excellent history of medicine as we practice it today. It's a historical fiction, but uh, a good book. If somebody's looking for a great vacation read, The Physician. Thank you. Great uh, suggestion. Chris, who is someone you admire? I had to think about that a little bit. That's a, that's a good question. You know, but the person who I actually came to the top of my list was actually Gandhi. <laughs> for his, <laughs> I swear, great. seriously, for his principle great. of nonviolent resistance. Yeah. Uh, uh, so we, you know, we had Martin Luther King Day not long yeah. ago. He learned that. Nelson Mandela learned that. And it's, yeah. and it's effective in terms of changing things. That, that's so true. Our behavior can make people change. What are you most grateful for, Chris? Uh, my wife, of course, Dr. Clarissa Tendero. She supports me. She does the same thing that I do. She's an ophthalmologist. Having, as you know, having a physician in the household who can relate to, you know, the stuff that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis is a tremendous help. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's a few of us who've gotten married to physicians and, and stayed married. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think having a, a, a supportive wife is critical So to my wife, Clarissa. That is so important. Chris, how do you take time for yourself? Well, as we talked about before, I think being organized and delegating. I mean, uh, you know, private practice. I mean, it's no different than being in a group practice. You have to you have to find people to work with who you trust, and then let them do their jobs. Delegate some of the little stuff so that you can concentrate on some of the bigger issues. If you do that, you'll free up all kinds of time in your day that you can use to to take care of yourself. And and that's so important. You know, as physicians, we often get focused on the details. We're so used to doing that, but being able to step back and delegate is such an important skill. Chris, what is a step listeners can take in the next 24 hours to find joy? Well, we talked about that too briefly before. I think everybody needs to learn a good joke and they need to tell it to others. So you can learn it for yourself, but you also need to be able to tell it to other people. Wow, that is great advice. This has been an amazing evening, Chris. You've left us with lots of gold nuggets. I'm going to run out and try to find a joke and <laughs> keep it in my back pocket. I think that's good advice. But, you know... Uh, I feel privileged to be here with you and uh, honored that you are the president of the Sierra Sacramento Valley Medical Society and with your views as you help us with uh, physician resilience and joy in medicine, we look forward to just a great year. So thank you so much for being here and taking the time out of your day to great. see with our viewers. Uh, thank, thank you, Reggie. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.